Well, I mean, you're not going to be you're not going to be t- a team as talented as Louisville. I mean, as gifted as Louisville. You know, you you need we need all seven of them playing well to beat. You know, well, really, to be honest with you, you make a great point for us to beat anybody. Those seven have to be in a pretty good rhythm. We had some guys that just didn't play well. I think you got to give offensively. That is, I think you've got to give Louisville credit. Um, you know, they, they couldn't really cut and move and take it off the dribble. So we were left with kind of Prentice Hub being almost the only guy that could do it. And when we get into that mode, you know, we're, we're just grasping at straws. Go ahead, Tim Priester. Mike, obviously Nate was uh, compromised physically after the fall at the end of the first half, but I think that's seven out of eight games where um, he hasn't had double digit shots. To what do you attribute his inability to, you know, I mean, because he's shooting such a high percentage for you, I would imagine that you want him to get. Yeah, yeah. no, no, great. No, good point. Now, the one, the reason he's shooting a high percentage is he doesn't take any bad shots and he can't go get his shot off the dribble. And that's kind of a good thing because then he can't force anything. <laughs> and, and I think what's happened is they've switched ball screens with him when athletic teams switch ball screens with him. And that had the feel of a Virginia tech kind of defense. And then there's an athletic guy up in him. He's got kind of nowhere to go. And uh, you know, so I feel for him there, you know, it, we tried to run a couple out of bounds things for him to get looks and he got a couple looks and, you know, didn't make any of them, but when they're switching everything and there's an athlete up in him, it's hard for him. And to his credit, he just swings the ball and doesn't force anything and then tries to defend and rebound on the defensive. And I think that's why his percentage is so good. He, he doesn't force anything. And then, you know, you got to play around him. You got to try and get some other guys going around him till he loose till it loosens up and um you know so so you know i i think that's kind of the result of it athletes switching ball screens and he can't breathe patrick engel mike from watching it in real time when you look at your shot selection uh, do you look at it as just having some open shots that guys couldn't make or a situation where they kind of bottled you up and, and made you take more tough shots than usual? Probably a little bit of both, Patrick, but I thought we got some pretty good looks. But, and again, I'll go back to the Virginia Tech feel of an athletic defense. You're so maybe harassed by the time you get the open look, your your feet aren't very calm. And 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 then I think that causes you not to shoot it as well, or, you know, and, and uh, but uh, the ones we needed, when we were hanging around and we got it to five and six and five and six and seven were transition ones. Those were clean ones that we have made before that helps us. And we, we didn't make any of them. And, and then, you know, the, their athletic ability on the backboard is freakish and we have a hard time controlling that, um, you know, some nights. Tom Noy. Like when you when you can't sustain that offensively and they're beating you up on the backboard the way they are, like what what what's the feeling watching that? Like this is this is gonna be really difficult for you guys to try to figure something out. Yeah, it's hard. You know, you sub in differently. We went to like four guards. We didn't play the two big guys much together because at least we got Joan on some roll stuff and we had some guys who could drive and get fouled. And you know, you you just you know, you're hanging on for dear life. And it's a real mental test because you can't see a bucket go in, but then yet you got to go back down on the other end and defend and you got to block out some athletic ability. You know, it's not a recipe for us to win a game. I mean, and I'm sitting there watching really almost 40 minutes of this is going to be intense defense and we're going to struggle. And can we rebound it well enough, you know, to, hold them off and we we never really could we try we, we had we will spurt in the second half but you know it, 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 five five point when we cut it to five it still felt like 10 because everything was so hard final question we'll go to patrick engel mike how did you feel about your defense on the whole like you said you mentioned that they got a few threes early from guys who hadn't made too many uh, what did you feel about your ability to keep them from going on any extended runs 
Well, they, they, they shot 42% from the floor for the game. That that's pretty good. Now they got 14 offensive rebounds and many of them were at key times. Um, and Jones made some big ones cause he's a player of the year candidate. He's a great guard. We even played a little box and one for a while. You know, we tried a little bit of everything just so somebody else would take a shot. And we got some other guys to take the shot, but we couldn't get the first miss enough. Uh, when we got the first miss, if you think about how the game played out. So we got the first miss and here we come five on four, four on three, four on two, because they have so many guys crashing and we get some really good looks and we don't get any of them. And that's really deflating. I mean, we didn't get any of them. And uh, it's just, you know, you just can't get over the hump then. Thanks Thank guys. You.